programming languages are everywhere, behind every app you open, every website you click, every system that keeps our world running. In part one, we explored the legends, from assembly to Haskell, but that was just the beginning. Today, we're diving even deeper into the coding universe, uncovering the hidden gems, the forgotten pioneers, and the modern powerhouses you use without even realizing. If you haven't watched part one yet, go check it out first. It'll give you the perfect foundation. But if you're ready for the next level, let's unlock the rest of the programming language story. One, Lisp. In the late 1950s at MIT, John McCarthy dreamed of teaching machines how to think. His creation was Lisp, the second oldest high-level language still alive today. Parentheses everywhere, strange to read, but Lisp became the mother of AI research. It wasn't just a language, it was an idea. What if code could reason like a human? Two, scheme. By the mid-1970s, Guy Steele and Gerald Sussman wanted to simplify Lisp to boil it down to its essence. They forged scheme, elegant, minimal, razor sharp. It became the language of classrooms, a tool for teaching generations how to truly think about programming. Scheme wasn't about writing code, it was about writing philosophy into machines. Three, C sharp. At the turn of the millennium, Microsoft faced a new threat. Java. Anders Helsberg responded with C Sharp, a sleek, powerful language built for the .NET framework. Suddenly, developers could build desktop apps, enterprise systems, even games with Unity, all from one ecosystem. C Sharp became Microsoft's warhorse, and it never stopped running. 4. Objective C. In the mid 1980s, Brad Cox and Tom Love fused C with object-oriented principles. The result was Objective-C. Apple adopted it as the beating heart of iOS and macOS for decades. Every iPhone app you loved before 2014, Objective-C was behind it. It was quirky, it was clunky, but it built an empire. 5. F-Sharp. By 2005, inside Microsoft Research, Don Symes sought to blend two worlds, functional purity and industrial power. The result? was F-sharp. It looks like math, acts like code, and handles finance, analytics, and data-heavy workloads with grace. F-sharp may never rule the mainstream, but in the right hands, it feels like wizardry. 6. Ada. Around 1980, the U.S. Department of Defense faced a crisis, hundreds of incompatible languages across its system. They commissioned one unifying language, named after Ada Lovelace, the first computer program. The result was Ada, safe, precise, and unyielding. Today, it still flies planes, controls satellites, and guards systems where failure is not an option. 7. Pascal. In the early 1970s, Nicholas Wirth wanted to teach the world structured programming. His answer was Pascal, clean, disciplined, almost academic. Students loved it, professors worshipped it. And though it faded, Pascal trains an entire generation to think like programmers. 8. Delphi. By the mid-1990s, building on Pascal's bones, Borland released Delphi, a rapid application development tool that let developers build Windows apps in record time. Click, drag, code, done. In the 90s, Delphi was the secret weapon behind thousands of business tools that still quietly run today. 9D. In the early 2000s, Walter Bright looked at C++ and asked, what if we stripped away the pain but kept the power? The answer was D. Fast, modern, and flexible. D was a coder's dream. It never hit mainstream fame, but those who use it swear it's one of the most underrated tools in programming history. 10. Small talk. Back in the 1970s at Xerox Park, Alan Kay envisioned computers not as machines, but as partners in creativity. He and his team invented small talk, one of the first object-oriented languages. It pioneered GUIs, influenced Java, Ruby, and Python, and shaped the very way we interact with computers. Small talk didn't just program machines, it programmed the future. 11. Prologue. In the early 1970s, in Marseille, Elaine Komarauer built something radical, a language that reasons. Prologue isn't about giving orders, it's about asking questions. You tell it facts and rules, and it finds answers. From natural language processing to expert systems, Prologue became the brain behind early AI dreams. 12. Julia. By 2012, a group of researchers were frustrated. Python was easy but slow, C was fast but painful. So they created Julia, a language with the speed of C and the simplicity of Python. It exploded in popularity among scientists, data crunchers, and AI labs. Julia is proof you can have beauty and performance in the same language. 13. Erlang. In the mid-1980s, at Ericsson, 
engineers faced a brutal challenge. Build phone networks that never crash. Their weapon was Erlang, a language designed for concurrency, reliability, and scale. Even today, Erlang powers WhatsApp, telecom systems, and banking networks because downtime is not an option. 14. Elixir. By 2011, Jose Valim took Erlang's rock-solid foundation and gave it modern style. Elixir was born, a language for massive, scalable, fault-tolerant systems. It powers real-time apps, live chats, and online platforms you use every day. It's young, but growing fast, a modern heir to Erlang's throne. 15. Scratch. In the early 2000s, at MIT, Mitchell Resnick and his team decided programming should be for everyone. They designed Scratch, a colorful drag-and-drop language that teaches kids how to think like coders. No bugs, no crashes, just creativity. Today, millions of young programmers write their very first line of code by snapping scratch blocks together. 16. Bash. By the late 1980s, Brian Fox at the Free Software Foundation wrote Bash, the Born Again essay. Not glamorous, not flashy, but essential. Bash isn't about apps, it's about control. It became the Swiss army knife of system administrators, running in terminals across the world. Every script, every server, every hacker's toolkit, Bash is there, quietly pulling the string. 17. Dart. In 2011, at Google, developers faced the chaos of web development and dreamed of a unifying language. Their answer was Dart. It seemed small at first, until Flutter arrived. Now Dart quietly powers apps on Android, iOS, and the web, all from one code base. Write once, deploy anywhere. The Dream Reborn. 18. Lua. By the early 1990s in Brazil, Roberto Jerusalemski and his team needed a simple, embeddable scripting language. They forged Lua, lightweight, flexible, and perfect for adding brains to bigger systems. Lua found its home in video games, powering engines from World of Warcraft to Angry Birds. It's the language you've played with, even if you didn't know it. 19. Apex. In the mid-2000s at Salesforce, the cloud was exploding, but customization was hard. So they invented Apex, a language tailored for business logic running directly in the cloud. Not a coder's darling, but a corporate powerhouse. Apex quietly runs behind the dashboards, CRMs, and workflows that drive global enterprise 20 crystal by 2014 in argentina ari bornzweig and his team wanted the elegance of ruby with the speed of c the result was crystal readable beautiful but compiled to lightning fast native code it hasn't hit the mainstream yet but among enthusiasts crystal feels like a glimpse of the future and that's the story of 20 programming languages from the titans that shaped history to the hidden gems still powering the world in silence. But here's the thing, this isn't the end. There are hundreds more languages out there, each with its own story. Some experimental, some forgotten, some waiting to rise. Now, I wanna hear from you. Which language surprised you the most? Or maybe you have a favorite I didn't cover. Drop it in the comments. I'll be reading them. And who knows, your pick might make it into the next part. If you enjoyed this journey through code, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell because more deep dives like this are on the way. Until next time, keep coding, keep exploring. And remember, every line of code tells a story.